Hey, welcome back to the Too Fast channel. On today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new mirror conversion that I've just completed. I have built this particular mirror out to fit in my Volkswagen EOS. I can also do this conversion for pre-1996 uh, model Mercedes. Uh, I could do this for uh, older Porsches and 997s and 993s. Um, I could do this for BMWs and Audis and, and so on. This mirror is a little bit more complicated uh, because the technology in this mirror is substantially newer than what I normally work with. Um, this technology came out around 2022. Um, it, it's been around longer than that in some different flavors, but this particular mirror has integrated Bluetooth uh, as well as Homelink. So it is the uh, uh, top of the line for rear view mirrors um, in automobiles at this moment. Uh, this design, this frameless um, mirror design, frameless means there's no bezel around it. It's a glass all the way to the outer edge. Um, this particular one is auto dimming. It has Homelink and it has integrated Bluetooth. The integrated Bluetooth allows you to use a Homelink app, which is called Homelink Connect, installed on your phone. This will allow you to program the mirror as well as set up certain automations using a, a compatible system, like for example, Alexa. So when you press a button on the mirror, it can run an, a routine for Alexa to turn on lights or make an announcement or whatever else you come up with. So a uh, lot of flexibility with the Bluetooth integrated mirror. This mirror also has an integrated hidden compass. Uh, the compass is normally white. I've uh, con uh, converted that to red for use in my Volkswagen. If I was doing this conversion for a Mercedes, I would convert the uh, compass color to amber to match the interior colors of pre-1996 model Mercedes. This mirror is a bit more complex to convert. Uh, one, the technology is so new, it's not cheap. Um, these mirrors, if you were to buy this mirror new, probably looking at about $350 for the mirror brand new. I look for them as pre-owned items to keep the cost down. I then need parts from whatever carts going into. In the case of the EOS, I have to uh, get an EOS mirror because I need the bracket and I need the wiring harness to make this plug and play. I also need some parts from a completely different mirror just to put this together. So this actually takes parts from three different mirrors to put together. So I have to track down all the parts and I have to make them all work together. Uh, so in theory, I'm kind of late to the game on converting this design mirror because I just, there was no way to do it until I found the additional parts. So those additional parts uh, allowed me to complete this uh, conversion. So let's, um, let's take a look at this mirror a little bit here on my display table. Um, you can see on the bottom of the mirror, um, we've got our three home link buttons. We have our Bluetooth connect button. We also have a small um, recessed uh, hole right here, which you would use for uh, programming the compass variance zone or turning the compass on or off. Um, as you can see, the compass would be right up in here. It's hidden, so you can't see it. Uh, so the button here allows you to turn the compass on or off. So if you don't want to use the compass, you can just press this button once and it'll turn the compass off. So that's a nice feature. Uh, I'm going around to the back. Um, obviously you can see this is a, uh, um, this is a uh, early uh, Volkswagen Mark V, Mark VI bracket um, designed for use in Volkswagens that have the uh, rain sensor, uh, the EOS, um, some golfs, Passats, and so on. There's multiple models of Volkswagen that use this bracket. This bracket's also used on some Porsches as well, some early uh, um, 2015, 2014 Porsches. Um, and this bracket in a, in a slightly different flavor is available 
um, is used on some other Volkswagen. So a lot of you got to make sure you know what bracket you need for which car you're, you're building the mirror for. So this one um, was built out specifically to be plug and play for my Volkswagen EOS. So this is the uh, factory Volkswagen plug. I just have a piece of electrical tape right there. So this will plug right in to the existing wiring harness. Um, why this particular mirror, um, I chose to modify this for the EOS. Uh, there is a specific reason. One, it's the top of the line auto dimming rear view mirror that's on the market right now uh, with Homelink version 5, the integrated Bluetooth. Homelink version 5 um, is uh, gives you the on-screen uh, indicators of the buttons that you're pressing. It also integrates with the Bluetooth, uh, depending upon which garage door you're using. It will tell you if the garage door is open or closed when you press the button. Homelink version 5 is also compatible, go backwards compatible with all the older garage door openers, and it's compatible with LiftMaster Security Plus 2.0. And it also covers all the frequency ranges up to 433 megahertz. So this, this particular mirror would operate gates and garage door openers in Europe. Prior to about 2007 and 2008, Homelink 3.0, which is what's in most of the mirrors I build, only goes up to 399 megahertz. So it's not suitable for use outside of the US. And it also does not support Security Plus 2.0 if you have a newer LiftMaster. We went from the Homelink 3.0 to Homelink 4. Um, and those are compatible with the Security Plus 2.0. And I'm not exactly sure which flavor of Homelink 4.0 where they extended the frequency range uh, up to 433 megahertz, but it was in that generation that they made that change, 2007, 2008 timeframe. So that's the history of uh, the Homelink. And the frameless mirror um, that we're looking at here, where there is no bezel, um, this particular design, I believe it came out around 2016, 2017. So you can get this same mirror as just an auto dimming mirror, nothing else, or you can get it with auto dimming and home link. And then you can get it in this flavor, which is auto dimming home link and the integrated Bluetooth for the use of the home link connect um, mobile app. Now, there are some other differences. Uh, this particular mirror, the one with the Bluetooth that we're looking at, it also has the capability to dim a passenger or the driver's door mirror. So when this rear view mirror dims, it will dim your driver's door mirror. That's why I chose this one to put into my EOS because my EOS has a dimmable driver's door mirror. The other flavors of this, the auto dimming only and the auto dimming with just home link, those do not have the internal capabilities of dimming a, your driver's door mirror. Uh, those are fine for use in cars that do not have a dimming driver's door mirror, like pre-1996 Mercedes, for example, or the older 993s and 997 Porsches. Um, the other thing I should note, um, with all of these designs right here, um, they, uh, all have a reverse gear lockout, um, which I don't normally utilize, uh, in like the pre-1996 Mercedes, because it's just additional wiring, um, that would need to be done that doesn't really serve that great of a purpose. But for, um, Let's say this mirror right here, it's been converted for my EOS. Am I losing any functionality by swapping out my factory auto dimming mirror in my EOS to this mirror? The only thing that I would be losing is uh, a dome light lockout. Uh, some older Volkswagens, Volkswagen obviously 
discontinued using that particular feature in later models, but uh, Mark 5s and Mark 6s, most of those have a dome light lockout. So when you turn on your dome light, if your mirror is dimmed, it will undim. Same with if you put your car in reverse, it will undim the mirror. Uh, Volkswagen is the only manufacturer that I've ever run into that has a, a dome light lockout. Uh, BMW and Audi and Mercedes and uh, Fords and, and uh, all, all the other cars that I've had mirrors, uh, removed mirrors from those cars that I've worked on, they don't have dome light lockouts. It's just Volkswagen for some reason. Pretty much everybody has a reverse lockout, but Volkswagen's the only one that had a, a dome light lockout. So this newer style mirror here does not have dome light lockout. So although I'm using the uh, OEM six pin plug, um, there is no uh, facility to do dome light lockout. So um, obviously I'm not worried about that. So this will be a direct plug and play into the EOS uh, uh, and I'll have everything functioning except for the dome light lockout. Anyway, um, that's a lot of information to uh, digest. Um, now, when I do build one of these uh, for uh, a customer, I will be including um, this informational sheet right here, which discusses uh, auto dimming, uh, home link, the home link connect. There's QR codes down here to, uh, that you can scan with your phone for iOS and Android that, that will take you to uh, your associated uh, app store so you can download the home link connect. Um, you can follow the app prompts and it will explain to you how to connect the app to the mirror, how to sync up the, uh, the Bluetooth, and then how to use the app to uh, program your home link buttons. And then uh, it will also step you through how to create automations. So in my particular situation, I did an automation with my Alexa and my Echo 5 to do some announcements. I could do things like um, when you open the garage door, I could make my camera start recording, for example, or I could make it turn on my security lights. Um, so you have a, a lot of extra functionality, which is kind of nice. And I did install the app. Obviously, I can't show it right now, but I did install the app and I have uh, worked with it. It's very easy to work with and it pretty much prompts you through everything. So um, I got to admit Gentex and Homelink, they did a good job with the app. Um, this also covers um, Homelink programming. Um, you can manually pro program the Homelink buttons. You don't have to use the Homelink Connect to do that. You can use it, uh, you know, you, that you would normally do on an older style homelink mirror, press the outer two buttons and, uh, for a certain period of time to uh, clear any uh, existing codes, press and hold the button until the LED starts blinking fast, and then press the button of your remote control until it, the mirror learns your remote control code, and then go to your garage door opener and press the learn button and so on. So that's all detailed out here. Now what is, what is not detailed out here is uh, compass calibration. Uh, I don't know why that's not included uh, in this particular documentation, but the compass calibration um, may or may not be necessary depending upon where you live. Uh, but it is the same that's in my uh, installation and setup documentation on how to um, utilize the small button on the bottom of the mirror. That's this little recessed hole right there. You use a paper clip or something that's not pointed to press on that button. Pressing the button once turns the compass on and off. Pressing and holding it until a number pops up on the screen and at that time you would release the button. Uh, that number indicates your compass variance zone. So if you press the button again it will cycle through the different zones. Um, it will go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually I can show you a, a sample of uh, a compass zone map. Just so you can get an idea, since we're 
looking at this. So this is a, this is a sample zone map right here. So depending upon where you live, for example, if you lived in Los Angeles, um, you would want to set the compass for uh, zone five. Um, if you were in Dallas, zone six, uh, and so on. Um, and this covers the United States. I do have a zone map for outside of the United States. Um, this one is a little bit more difficult to read, but it's the best one I was able to find. So if we're looking like uh, UK, for example, if you in the UK, you can find the UK up here. I believe it's zone nine. And I think this zone 10 uh, might be Ireland or Scotland. I'm not sure, but it, this zips down through Africa. Uh, if you are in Russia way over here, there's a different zones over there. So the zone numbers repeat, you can see 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and they're way over here. Well, this is Russia. I'm not sure exactly what's up in that corner, but um, the zone numbers will repeat. So if you were down here in Australia, you'd find your zone and uh, choose that. So you would just cycle through those numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., until you get to your zone, and then you would release the button. And that's how you would set the zone for where you live. There's also, um, you can force the um, mirror compass into calibration mode. That's also covered in the instructions on how to do that. If it is, if your compass is in calibration mode, you'll see a C on the screen. You won't have a northwest, northeast, south uh, direction indicator. You'll just have a big C. And that means it's in calibration mode and you will need to follow the instructions on how to calibrate the mirror. And that normally means, I believe the instructions tell you to get in an empty parking lot and drive in a circle for like five minutes until, the zone, until your compass calibrates itself. And then you should get fairly accurate readings uh, from the compass. Something to keep in mind though, is that uh, this is an analog compass. It's not a GPS compass. So if you have this alongside of a GPS, your GPS readings will probably be more accurate than the internal compass of this rear view mirror. Anyway, um, so I will be um, converting uh, these mirrors as I can get the parts. I will be converting um, this style of mirror with the integrated Bluetooth and the same style of mirror with just home link. Uh, both have the compass, both have the home link, same version 5.0. The only difference would be the um, integrated Bluetooth, but I will be converting both of these mainly because of the price. Um, the one without the Bluetooth will be uh, easier to find and uh, will be less expensive. So those will, uh, cost less once they're converted. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to terminate this video. Um, I will do another video uh, about the installation of this in the EOS and I will demonstrate the functionality of it in a separate video. So stay tuned for that and thanks for uh, taking the time out to uh, watch this video on this new mirror conversion and i'll catch you in the next video